Welcome to part five of this seven part series on um, Beyond the Routine. Now, before we get started, we want to thank all of our subscribers. Our subscribers have doubled since we launched this series. Uh, we had no idea that uh, this was going to be that popular, but we enjoy doing this. And thank you all for all the kind words and all the encouragements. And uh, we will continue to bring you more exciting videos. Now, also before I get started, this is a power riser. It is a bad power riser. And you will come across many bad power risers in your lifetime if you're in the business of building mining rigs. It's not always the easiest to try to get one of these replaced since you're probably ordering either from overseas or from ven a vendor that you've never heard of. So make sure that you use websites like Amazon.com or Newegg.com, two of our favorite websites. Uh, you can find our links in the descriptions as well. Now the benefit of ordering from Newegg or Amazon is that they have a no hassle um, return policy or credit policy. If you buy one of these in a you know, six bundle, um, they don't want you to ship just one of it back. They'll just credit you for it, which is pretty nice. Okay, on to this video. This is the XFX GTRS RX 580 with a base clock of 1430 megahertz and an overclock of 1450 megahertz. It is a two slot GPU with a size of 11.02 inches by 4.88 inches. Now, some of you guys were asking uh, which version of it that we'll be doing. Well, this turns out to be a version 2.0. Um, some people say that there are 2.1 out there that might be more difficult. Um, well, we've only come across this GTRS and it is a 2.0. Okay, let's see what's inside the box. Uh huh. Another box. Warranty card. Oh, this is interesting. How to achieve OC plus clock rate. And it has both uh, English and Chinese. Look like they want you to do it in Wattman. Which is part of the Crimson Driver by AMD. All right, this card, I have to say, it's probably the ugliest out of the bunch. These two red circles, I don't know what they were thinking. Okay, it has a six pin power and an eight pin power input. And that, is the BIOS switch between the silence mode and the overclock mode. Um, the power colored Red Devil Golden Sample Edition also has one of those um, BIOS switch as well as the Sapphire Nitro Plus. The back of it, it's very similar to the GTR series. And it comes with a DVI port. Oh, these are hard to get out. One, two, three, display port, 
and only one HDMI port. So this is this again is not a VR friendly video card. And it unlike all the other ones, uh all the other brands top GPUs, this one looks very similar, almost exactly the same as the regular edition ones. So anyway, let's uh get this thing plugged in and see how well it does. By now, if you haven't heard, we're doing a very special giveaway um, in part 7 of uh, the final episode of this series. Um, but it's only applicable to subscribers, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. Uh, and then in episode 7, we will be announcing exactly what it is and how to enter. Um, I can give you a hint though. Here's hint number 3, I think. Um, the hint is, it has to do with one week. A week. So, um, let your imagination run wild. Okay, on to this card. Uh, this um, XFX GTRS, top of the line, um, is, does not have Samsung. It has Hynix memory. And... Um, the uh, ASIC quality though, it's not too bad. 83.5. Um, it's running in the background right now. Stock setting 1430 megahertz with 2000 megahertz VRAM clock. Um, Claymore 9.3. And it's giving us only 22.4, 22.5. Five mega hashes and it's consuming a whopping 144 watt wow this, something's going on with this card um, we've heard a lot of things about this and so oh look at that temperature fan spinning at 45 percent and it's at 75 degrees Celsius Oh, wow. Okay, let's do a quick BIOS uh, flash, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, we flashed the BIOS, and Claymore is now running in the background. But uh, before I show you the numbers, I want to show you real quick uh, in the Polaris uh, BIOS editor that um, this card has two sets of timing. The first set of timing only goes up to 2000. The second set of set timing goes up to 2250. You want to make sure that you um, copy both sets 750, 750 timing to the 2000 and then the second set also to the 2250 timing. Um, otherwise if you just do set number one nothing's gonna happen. All right. So let me close this, show you real quick. Um, after the flash is at 25.3 is about as high as I see it. About 25 to 25.3. Um, that is about a three, maybe two and a half, three mega hashes increase from the unflashed BIOS. So um, again, fan not spinning, 75 degrees Celsius. Uh, this, um, this has to be the, the silent OC, uh, silent uh, BIOS side, um, which is usually the side that you want to mod anyway if it has dual BIOS. Um, we're going to um, play around with the settings and uh, we'll see how high we can get this it's not looking good though, but um, maybe you, maybe it can the VRAM will overclock like super well. We'll see. Right. By now, many of you might be wondering why is it taking these guys so long to get the part five video uploaded? Well, I'm sorry guys, but I blame it all on this XFX GTRS card uh, with its Hynix memory. It is a horrible card. So, um, just off the bat, uh, I don't usually do this, but I wanted to show you in the Polaris 
bios editor, you see that this card has two sets of bios. The first set only goes up to 1750. The second set goes up to 2250. So, which makes this very unique. We can't just do the usual thing where you copy the 1750 uh, up to the 2000. Oh, sorry, I said I said it wrong. The first set goes up to 2000 only. Second set goes up to 2250. So instead, um, we're we're we've tried it both ways, and I'll show you first uh, the first method, which um, I'll link the uh, the uh, URL in the description. This uh, was this solution came up by somebody else. On, on the internet and um, he basically published or uh, posted a, a timing value that you can copy and paste into the 1750 2000 and 2250 timing of the second set of timing and that's all you do uh, you don't do anything to the first timing we've tried it doing anything to the first timing doesn't do anything this card after that if you just do that, then you're just going to get maybe about 25 mega hashes. Um, horrible, horrible. And then with fine tuning, you know, you get maybe up to 27 mega hashes, which won't even qualify this card to be uh, among the top six. Um, I'll be ashamed to to put this card up here. But if you copy his timing uh, that he published to the 750 and the 2000 and the 2250. Um, then you can get above 30 mega hashes. Uh, the video is recording, so it's a little bit lower, but we were getting 30.1, 30.15, I would call it, uh, with these settings. 1200 megahertz core, 2130 megahertz uh, VRAM. Uh, we tried a 2150 and a 2200. 2200 just crashes the car. 2150 way too many uh, GPU memory errors. Now 2130 we're still getting memory errors uh, after an hour and 42 minutes it's up to 94,000 and, and then some but it's mining and it's mining stable um, at about 30 mega hashes so uh, with this method um, we don't know how long this car can mine at the speed uh, with these settings uh, we would think that you might want to clock it down to 20, 2125 or 2110 or 2000 and then you'll be well into the, the 29 mega hash range um, and then as you notice this car is probably the hottest out of all the cards and it's probably contributing to the fact that there is no additional heat sink between this model and all the other models um, of the same series, the GTR, the GTS, um, you know, the GTRS is supposed to be the top, but it, unlike the other brands that give you beefier cooling solutions along with the top card, this card does not come with that. So. Now we're going to try method number two and then we'll uh, show you the results real quick. Be right back. Oh, actually, if the method number number two doesn't work, then we won't bother showing the result. We'll just go to conclusion. So be right back. All right. So uh, we mentioned that we have two methods. Um, method number one was using this timing that's available on the Internet to paste into the 1750, 2000, and 2250 timing of the second set of timing. Uh, method number two is simply copying the original BIOS uh, 1750 timing of the first set into the second set's uh, timing of 1750, 2000, and 2250. The method number two uh, is only going to get you about 29.5 top so we're seeing more like 29.3 29.4 mega hashes um, as you can see over here close to 29.5 uh, while it's not filming we're getting mostly 29.4 to 29.5 
So if you use method number two, you still get about 29.4. Um, it's not horrible, uh, considering that when we started on this card, we were only getting 22 mega hashes. So um, that's it for uh, this S uh, XFX GTRS RX 580. Um, we still got two more episodes left in this series, but just to let you know, we have a lot more content planned for after this series. And don't forget to watch episode 7, where we're going to uh, tell you how to enter the giveaway that we have planned. So next episode, we'll be moving on to this, the infamous Sapphire Nitro Plus Limited Edition. It's very limited, very hard to come by. Um, but as we said, and we got, well, somehow we got our hands on one, so we're going to be testing that one, um, and we're going to see how it, uh, matches up against the, the five that we've tested so far. Make sure that you, if you haven't watched any of the previous four episodes, make sure you go back to our channel and, uh, watch those four episodes. And then, uh, um, oh. Um, we've decided to do a live event uh, to announce the winner of the giveaway of the series. And uh, you'll find out all the information in episode 7. So stay tuned. Look forward to seeing you guys in future episodes. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click the like button if you find, like the series, uh, if you like this episode. If you have not subscribed, it's the only way to win anything uh, giveaway wise. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. Much appreciated. Thank you. And keep the feedback and uh, comments coming. We love to read you guys' con comments. And uh, thank you for all the encouragement. Have a good day. Bye-bye.